Hi Year 6, this is your maths lesson for Monday the 8th of February. Now, I've been thinking a lot about fractions and last week we thought a lot about percentages. This week, to finish off this topic, I would like to think more about decimals. So, what I've got over here is, again, if we think about decimals as a fraction of 100, that is really, really going to help us. Okay, so here I've got shaded out of 100, I've got 25 out of 100, okay? I'm gonna try and write this as a decimal. So the fact that I haven't got any whole ones at all, I've just got part of a number. If we think about it on our place value, and if we think about the fact that we've actually got two tenths and five hundredths, that might help us to realize why we write 25 hundredths as 0 0.25, I hope that's coming out okay. Because we've actually got here two tenths and five hundredths, and this is our tenths place, and this is our hundredths place, okay? So, I've got some other ones for us to have a go at together. Oh, that's my rubber. My rubber, here we are. So, I'll leave that on there, I think, actually. Right, so this one then, year six, if we have a look, this is gonna be your activity activity for today if you feel like you need some practice. Some of you might be able to do this really easily. So here we've got 100 and I know there's 100 because I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's a 10 by 10 square. It's 100. Okay. How many out of 100 here are shaded? Hopefully you can see that there's three tenths. Three lots of 10. 30 out of 100 hopefully you can see. So 30 out of 100. Now I could do that as tenths, couldn't I? That would be an equivalent fraction. So if I do the same to the top and the bottom, what have I done? I've divided the denominator by 10. So I also need to divide the numerator by 10. So I've got three tenths. The 30 out of 100 is the same as three tenths, okay? Try to not have too much busyness here to confuse you. So now, the difficult part, can we write this as a decimal? Well, how many tenths do we have to actually have for our tenths place here? It's just 0 0.3. If you were to go through and do the same for some others, I wonder if you could see a pattern Look, there's a bit of a pattern forming here, isn't there? And so on and so on. So actually, when you've got tenths, it should be, hopefully, relatively easy for you to change them into decimals. Let's try another one from the sheet. Okay, so let's have a look at number three here. So number three, let's you have a look at it first. How many out of 100 are shaded here? Well, let's have a look. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 80. And I can check because I can see that there's 20 that aren't shaded. So it's 80 out of 100. Okay, so what am I going to do with this over here? 80 out of 100. Well, I can put this into tenths quite easily by dividing the numerator, sorry, the numerator and the denominator by the same number. The denominator has been divided by 10, so the numerator must be divided by 10. Hopefully you can see that as a decimal, once I've got eight tenths, that will be the answer to number three. So if you can freeze the screen, this is your activity for today if you are not feeling very confident, okay? If you feel like you need a little bit more practice, now, for some of you, this may be a little bit easy. So if this is a little bit, little bit easy for some of you and you feel like you'd like more of a challenge, I've got a bit more of a challenging sheet here, okay? This hasn't divided it necessarily into 104. I'm going to have to think a bit more carefully. So let's have a little look at number one from this sheet here, shall we? So what have I got? I have... 9, 10. Oh, now that one's not too tricky, the first one. Let's have a little look. So I've got nine out of 10 shaded. Hopefully you know nine tenths, okay? Actually, they're all in tenths, that first one, so that's not too bad at all. Then, if you want to move down here, 
this may be a little bit more tricky. You've got to write the decimal fractions from this number line here. So for example, 1a, well, let's have a look. How many notches or intervals are there between one and two? Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's handy. So if I can see, I've got 1.123. 1, so a over here would be 1.3. That would be this bit here. And then if we come down to this bottom part, you have to do all of those, this bit. We come down to the bottom part here. Oh, no, four tenths isn't too tricky. I'm going to jump, I think. I'm going to have a look at, oh, what about this one? Six and eight tenths. So number 14, let's have a look. Eight tenths. How am I going to write that as a decimal? 6.8. So in your book, if you were doing some of these in your book, just do a little swap how it can be presented in your book clearly using your squares so if I was doing and I will show you this sheet at the end year six so don't worry if you can't see it if I was doing this six and eight tenths here so number 14 so six and eight tenths how am I going to write that as a decimal six point eight okay let's have a little look at Maybe number seven. Oh, now that one's an interesting one. Oh, I don't want to do all of these for you, year six. I'll let you think about that one. But five tenths has got an equivalent fraction that might help you as well to know that one. Let's if we just freeze the screen on this. Have a go at some of those. Okay, and year six, if you really are feeling, and this will be for Mrs. Stubbs' children, if you really are feeling very confident indeed, I would like you to have a go at these. Now, this is getting on to two. Okay, so I'd like you to have a go at this section here. You've already got a one place decimal. This is going on to two place decimals. So have a go at this if you really are feeling confident, year six. Okay. Well done.